ladies and gents, NTV here with some more Dragon Ball Z, The Legacy of Goku 2. Last episode, a lot happened. First off, Cell absorbed Android 18, so now he is perfect Cell. And also, we have a new Guardian of Earth, which is Dende, who replaced Kami, and now it says Dende's lookout whenever we go here, which I thought was a nice touch. And also, the Dragon Balls are back because Dende restored the dragon, so we're going to have to get the dragon radar from Bulma. Also, we got the ability to play as Goku, and now Gohan can transform into a Super Saiyan. But, what I'm going to do, actually, is... I'm going to, first off, grab a Senzu Bean while I'm here, because I have enough fish. But, we're going to grab the last two Golden Capsules, because we can do that now. And, it'd make getting things a lot easier, because the reward for finding all the Golden Capsules is a pretty good one. A red snapper. Actually, in Boo's Fury, we can actually get red snappers. Like, they're actually like red fish. But that's besides the point. Anyways, yeah, I need Vegeta to get the last two golden capsules. So, voice crack there. Let's go. Uh, let's see, world map. It's over here. Okay, screw you, Caps Corp. We can actually get the Dragon Balls that are in areas that we've been to already. But I think it'd be easier if we got the Dragon Radar first. But first off, just gonna head over to East District 439. Also, uh, get some health while I'm at it. Okay, that's good. Eh, that snake thinks it can hurt me. Now, over here... I I passed through this area a while back, like at the beginning of this LP, but there is a level barrier here for Vegeta. He needs to be level 30, and he is obviously level 30. Now this area here, uh, there are things for us to do pertaining to Dragon Balls, but there's two Golden Capitals in this area. And also, while you're in this area, I will say that using the Scouter is very helpful because it reveals these enemies here these are ninjas and they're hiding in the background the various places so yeah just gonna grab this capsule while I'm here and let's ignore you guys because I just want to get the golden capsule that's over here why not let's let's kill this ninja and that's 24 out of 25 and the last one is down over here. Actually, let's take a look here. Eh, yeah, whatever. There's a, there's another thing for us to do here, but the golden capsules is my priority. So let's just ignore all of these things. And right over here, break these. And right over here near the safe point is the very last golden capsule in the game. I don't know why I thought Mr. Popo had a golden capsule to give to us, but he might give a collectible in Boo's Fairy, and I might have mistaken it for that. But whatever. But uh, with that done, I will see you guys back at Capsule Corp because that's where we need to go anyways. And yeah. Okay, so over here in Capsule Corp, we can actually see some of the characters training for the martial arts tournament that Cell is hosting, and here's Poir. I don't think I've scanned him yet. But, um, let's just go into this entrance to Capsule Corp. And the reason why I switched over to Gohan is because we started the Golden Capsule quest as Gohan, so might as well finish it off with him. And is this guy drooling in this portrait? Whatever. So, our reward is gonna be one of these golden capsules now what this golden capsule does is whenever we're outside it's gonna take us straight to world map sign so we'll be straight in the world map screen once we use it pretty helpful it's very very helpful actually and let's just get the dragon radar while we're here so now whenever we look into our scatter we can look at nearby areas and see if there's any dragon balls and yes, there are bombs in all of the androids, except for Cell, of course. And... okay, that's it. And... okay. 
Well, while we're here in Capsicorp, actually, there is a place I want to go to while we're here. It's in the atrium because there is a training area there for us to go to and might as well make use of it, right? It's right over here. And our first opponent is going to be Yamcha. We're gonna Yamcha Yamcha. Because Yamcha's pretty weak. And I could show off like all of Gohan's attacks, but this is pretty easy. And for beating Yamcha, he's gonna give us a plus three power capsule. Not bad. Actually, yeah, Gohan does have the Kamehameha Wave. I might as well show that off. Now we have Krillin here. Krillin is also pretty strong. It gets harder as you fight the people here. There's one more opponent after Krillin. And he's probably the toughest out of all of the three that we'll fight. Well, of course he is. Okay, Krillin's gonna give us a... Plus three strength capsule, not bad. And our last opponent in here is Tien. Tien, I can't scan him. He has a lot of HP too. How much do you have? 2,110, and not that bad compared to what we fought. But we are stronger. And let's uh, show off the Kamehameha wave. Just hold B button and you shoot your little laser beam. Also, if you switch over to the scatter wall using the Kamehameha wave and then let go, get a little graphical glitch here, which I thought was pretty funny. But, whatever. Okay. And... There. We beat Tien. So now he's going to give us the plus three endurance capsule. Which is not bad at all. And with that done, we can leave Capsicorp, and let's start hunting for those Dragon Balls. There's actually a few that are pretty close by. If we take a look at the Scouter here, there's one over here in the Warlord's Domain. And then there is one all the way over here in Gingertown. So, let's do that. You know what, I don't think I've showed off a Piccolo scatter shot, so I might as well do that while I'm here. But once we do that, I guess I'll just switch on over to Goku because we are meant to play as Goku because a lot of the areas where there's Dragon Balls, we need Goku to get to, so yeah. It's, I mean, and we, have, we haven't played as Goku yet, I mean, we haven't showed off what he can do, so yeah. So come on. War and the Warlord's Domain is pretty easy. I mean, there's low-level enemies here, so... Nothing to worry about. Perfect place to show off Scattershot. And let's just ignore you guys. And Scattershot, what it does, just fires it. Fires three different Key Blasts. Costs quite a bit of energy to use, but whatever. And it's, I believe the Dragon Ball is in the next area. And also off screen, I'm probably going to train everyone up so they're at Goku's level. Because in terms of level, Goku is the strongest. He's level 35. Oh cool. The two star Dragon Ball, nice. Okay, let's show off that golden capsule. And once we go into the world map, there's a lot of places with Dragon Balls. There's... Of course, the one in Gingertown, there's one in the Northern Wastelands, one in the Northern Mountains, uh, one in the Tropical Islands, and one in the new area we haven't been to as well. But uh, let's switch on over to Goku so we can show what Goku's all about. Okay, so Goku, he that's the thing. Okay, that's where it is. Goku, he can... That's... He can use the Kamehameha Wave, of course. I mean, it is his, like, thing. And let's see. He can also use the Spirit Bomb. Also, if you hold A, his attack is this little flash, fast flurry of punches, I think. 
Uh, what is it called? It's called... Yeah, Flurry Punch. Pretty handy, I guess. And the Spear Bomb is also a pretty cool attack, which I will show off once we get here. We do need to charge it up, which is the downside of using this. But you charge it up, and once the energy ball is, I guess, this big, we can use it. Hits enemies, and it freezes every enemy on screen for a few seconds. And then once they unfreeze, they'll all target you. So that's kind of the down point of using this. But it's still pretty handy because it does a lot of damage. It's just charging it does leave you open. So it's not the most reliable attack, and I don't use it that often. So, yeah. Just grab some health while we're here. But Goku, he is pretty fun to use. And of course, you can also go Super Saiyan. Actually, eh. Let's grab some energy. Let's show off Super Saiyan Goku. Even though I'm not gonna fight anything here. Whatever. And also, Gohan can become a Super Saiyan as well, which I'll probably show off. I mean, in the anime, before the Cell games, Goku and Gohan, they do stay Super Saiyan for like the entire duration of their little 10-day break before the Cell game starts, so yeah. And cool. That's the six star ball, and let's just grab one more before I end it off. We're gonna go straight to the tropical islands, because it's right there in the open. It's not in any areas that require Goku, so yeah, I will grab that. And also, I think this is my first time flying in the world map screen like as a Super Saiyan. But uh, yeah, tropical islands. And if I remember correctly, it's the Dragon Ball that we're looking for is, okay, two islands away. Gonna fight everything. Ooh, fish. Like these things can hurt me. Two fish. One fish, two fish, three fish, four. I mean, Goku does like his fish. And chicken, I guess. Not really chicken, I guess. That's alligator meat that we're collecting, really, whenever these things drop food. I heard alligator is actually really good. The most I've tried is, like, an alligator Slim Jim thing. But I'd like to try, like, actual alligator meat at some point in my life, just because I hear it tastes like chicken. And one more island away. Uh, sure, why not? Let's kill these things. Uh, the ladybugs are super annoying. I don't like them. Uh, let's... Uh. Okay, you know what? Screw it! Those ladybugs just made things a whole lot more harder for me. Uh, let's see, how do I want to go about doing this? Eh, sure, Spear Bomb. And then all of these alligators are going to start coming after me, right? Oh, that's a lot. Holy crap. Well, at least I have a hard, or at least I'm having an easy time killing them. They're dropping a lot of energy, too. I appreciate the energy. And the Dragon Ball is down here. Just kill you guys. Ooh, Goku is almost to level 36, which is not bad at all. Okay. 
leave me alone. Ooh, one more. Ooh, that's a seven star ball. Okay then. Let's grab that. And I guess now that we have that Dragon Ball, I guess now would be a good time for me to end it off. And yeah, next episode, we're going to continue searching for the other Dragon Balls. So I guess I'll see you guys next time for some more Dragon Ball Z, the legacy of Goku 2. Later! Okay, so you know how I ended off the episode? Uh, screw that noise because we're gonna get one more Dragon Ball. So, uh, yeah, let's let's do that because this one is not gonna take that long to get at all. It's over here in the Northern Wastelands, and it's uh, this is actually one of the very first level barriers that we saw that requires Goku. It's right up here, if I remember. Hello. Just leave me alone. It's right over up here. And as you can see, there is also a Namekian over there. So, yeah. Any bad guys? No. Cool. Okay, that's just gonna make this bridge appear. Didn't even bother animating it, but whatever. Kill you. Man, Goku's almost at another level. And that's pretty nice. Okay, level 36. And let's see. Plus 2, plus 1, plus 1. Not bad, I guess. And we can actually proceed. And might as well uh, save this Namekian while he's here. See, I've been lost in this desert. If you didn't find me, I don't know what I'd do. I'd miss my friends. Um... Okay, cool. Now this area here, there's this red tiger bandit person. Ooh, he's red. Well, let's just take care of you. And, whoops. And this part over here, if we take a look at the map, the Dragon Ball is up there. So we're going to need to get that as soon as possible. And you, how much HP do you have? 1100. Okay then. Not bad, I guess. And this place also has ninjas. So you might want to be careful. You might want to use your scatter when necessary. Because I think there's one right... Yep, there's one behind those crates. I don't think we've seen the red ones yet. Whatever. And you might also want to be careful with uh, ninjas. Because they throw... They throw their little shurikens or throwing stars or whatever. So they do have ranged attacks. So, like I said, be careful of that. Okay, hello. And come on, hurry up and die. Okay, let's see. Is there one hiding up? Yep, there's one hiding, like, near the palm tree. Clever using the environment like that. Yep. Okay. I'm almost to level 37, which is not bad at all. Now, the next few areas I'm going to in the next episode, I'm going to need to be level 40 for them, but I think I can make the level 40. Uh, before I make it to any of the level barriers. And as you can see, the Dragon Ball is being guarded, so... That's a thing. Come on. And... Hurry up and die. Please. You can die too. Also, I love Goku's little flurry punch thing. I don't know, I just love the way it looks. And in order to get to the Dragon Ball, there's a few switches we're going to need to push down. Like that. Did not mean to do that. I was busy punching the dude. Okay, that opens those two, but we have one more little gate thing to watch out for. Come 
Pokemon. Okay, level 37, not bad, not bad at all. And you know what, might as well just take care of the enemies here. Just for the experience, because getting Goku to level 40 is a priority here. Okay, hurry up and die. And you guys over here, you can also die. Or just one guy. And hurry up. Okay. I mean, I could spam all of my energy attacks, but I do have a limited amount of energy, even though Goku's energy attacks are stronger than his physical attacks. D did not mean to hit the bandana, dude. Oh well. He's dead anyways. And you're gonna die too. Ooh, thank you for the food. Okay, let's just uh, press that last switch, which is all the way over here, in this area. Okay, hurry up and die. I like how I can use these crates to take cover. Makes things so much easier. Just like that. Couldn't move out of the way. No, that'd be way too easy for this dude. Okay, come on. Hurry up and die. And boom! That should open up the way to the Dragon Ball, which means more Dragon Balls for us. I don't know which Dragon Ball this is. I know it's not the 4-star one. I know where the 4-star one is. That's actually going to be the last one I'm going to be going for. Just, just because. Let's hurry up and kill you. I'm almost a level 37. Yeah, I'm almost I'm almost at another level, so I can be a little bit reckless with my energy attacks. And also you drop that, so definitely can be reckless. This could be a good place to grind for uh, for some experience. Okay, level 38. I thought I was level. Okay, whatever. Two more levels to level 40, and I'm definitely not complaining about that. Oh, hello. Just die. You can die too. Everything's gonna die. And hurry up. Die. Nice. Okay, let's just go grab the Dragon Ball now. Oh, it's the one star one. Okay. Well, with that done, I guess we're gonna go end it off. So, um, I guess, you know, I might as well just head over right there to where we're gonna be exploring next episode. We're gonna be going here to the Snowy Highlands, which is a new area. So, um, I guess with that, I will see you guys next time for some more Dragon Ball Z Legacy of Goku... Blah, blah, blah. The Legacy of Goku 2, for real this time. Later!